What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be giving a step-by-step time-lapse tutorial on how I completed this dog portrait. So yeah, if you wanna see some future content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let's get started. So the first step to doing a dog portrait is applying my stencil. Uh, if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I create and apply my stencils, then I will put a link in the description. Um, next, I just went in with a pencil to kind of fix up a couple areas here and there. Um, usually when I'm doing portraits of animals, I like to go in first with my darker tones and get all the really prominent features out of the way, like the eyes, the nose. Uh, the dark shadows around the ears and the mouth. And for basically this entire portrait, I'm using my razor tip shader. Um, I'll also post a link for that in the description below. You can see with the nose, I went in first with my heavy blacks to really make the nostrils defined. It's important to have a lot of contrast in your burns because it makes them so much more readable when you see them like hanging on a wall from across the room. Here we're going in with some more mid-tones, just really trying to get the shadows and the shapes. Um, it's also important to burn in the direction with the fur texture. Um, this dog has a bit shorter fur, so it's not as important, but I still always recommend burning in the direction of the fur so the texture looks correct. And like I usually say in my other videos, I think layering is very important. Um, usually I'll go into a wood burn, you know, I'll go into it one day and then I'll go into it a couple days later just to, you know, get fresh eyes with it and make sure I'm not missing any shadows or, you know, areas where I could be adding more contrast. to the other ear. So now we have most of the face done. Gonna start working on the neck and the body. Yeah, as you can see here, I'm kind of just knocking all of those darker tones out of the way because there's quite a bit of white spots on the neck of the dog. Definitely always put a shadow underneath the mouth because it makes it gives it more of that like 3D effect. Here we're going in and doing the collar. Collars I feel like are kind of an optional thing. I mean, you could just take it out, but I kind of like throwing in all that extra detail and you know, really making it look just like the photo. So next I'm going in and I went on fontgenerator.com uh, to look up some different font ideas for the dog's name and then ended up just freehanding it on there. Definitely always recommend using a ruler just to make sure that your lines are nice and straight and your letters are the same size. And then I grabbed my lining burner to go around the edges of the letters. And since this is a lighter colored dog, I decided it would be best to black out the background just to really make it pop off the surface. So I'm gonna leave the name white 
and you'll see I'll go in there later with my Dremel tool to really brighten it up. But yes, yeah, so we're just gonna go through. And when blacking out the background, I burn at a fairly high temperature on my Colwood Super Pro 2, usually about like a seven or an eight um, on the heavy duty setting. And I'm using my heavy duty round shader from Colwood Burners. This tip is definitely the best for super high temperature burning. Um, I would not use the razor tip transfer shader for this because that thing just overheats way too quick and I've actually melted the tip of it before. So we're going through, finishing up the blackout and then definitely took my time going around the letters because if you are burning it too high of a temp, you can blow out and uh, you know sometimes little flames will spark up off of the off of the wood. So we're done with the black. And now I'm grabbing my Dremel tool, tracing around that just to brighten it up. And I did go in with my Dremel on a couple spots on the dog, like the whites and the eyes, and added a couple little whiskers. Just to add a couple highlights. And then it went back in one more time just to add some, some more shadows and to darken up some areas a little bit. a little bit more of a shadow underneath the mouth there. And then I added my picture hanger on the back, burned my little logo on the on the bottom, handmade by Burn Blue. And then the next step, I went in with my Mod Podge, just a nice thin layer over the top. Again, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to seal your wood burns, I will attach another link to a different video um, in the description. Thanks for watching another episode of Broke Girls Art School. I hope that this dog portrait time lapse helped you guys out and you learned something new. Uh, make sure to drop a comment, let me know what you thought, and subscribe if you want to see some of my future content. Have a good one.